What's going on knife lovers? It's your boy JT with Not Enough Knives. Yeah, I know. I've been out of it for a little bit. Probably haven't uploaded in quite a few months. I have a huge backlog of knives, but I figured why don't we start tackling them from most popular to least popular and that way we can make sure we cover the best values at the moment. You guys know that the fixed blade knives from Walmart have always been a great value and Today, we're gonna focus on the latest 2023 iteration of the Ozark 7-inch fixed blade knife. Now, I am aware there is one other kind that came out between this one and the last one that I did a review on, which was a 2022 model. I don't know if you guys recall the last video we did. The 2020 models were the ones that really started this crazy explosion of Walmart fixed blade popularity. Their original wooden model was pretty decent, but that 2020 release was something else. I mean, the styling, the quality, the blades were really sharp. And for five bucks, it is what it is, but they were an incredible value if you just wanted something quick to take to the field and use it. It was definitely better than having nothing at all. This popped up on the shelves, I think it was around August that I picked it up. That's how far behind on my content creation I am, busy with work life. But today we're just gonna bring it out of its cardboard and nylon confines and see what we get for, I believe this was $5. So the inflation crisis somehow has not gotten to all the knives. I know some have been affected, but Walmart somehow has managed to consistently keep their Ozark Trail variety of knives within the realm of affordability and away from this crazy inflation that has affected everything across the board from housing to gear clothing everything so without further ado guys let's get into this see what we got yeah All right, guys, so you have your black oxide coated blade. I've seen this in a few offerings of their fixed blade knives. Seems to be just a standard black oxide over what may or may not be four or five CR 18 MOV. If it's anything above that, I'd be very surprised and consider this an even better value. But for now, we'll just take it that it's going to be a very soft steel, very sharpenable, but at the same time, very unreliable when it comes to strength requirements. However, you get what you pay for. I'm going to continue to mention that because and again, you guys know these things are $5. New Ozark Trail logo with the outdoor equipment. It is a full tang knife as indicated by the depicted continuation of one piece steel throughout the tang here. If these grip was molded together, then we would have to rely on looking through the lanyard hole to determine the full tang, but it is very evident. So now the molded sheath is something they brought back. I really appreciate them continuing to do this. However, I did notice something new. That is the addition of not only a pivoting belt mount, but also a removable one. For the same value of $5 in 2023, Inflation City, we have a modular sheath. That's pretty freaking cool. Retain the paracord mounting mounts, so we have that. But like I said, this thing just snaps right in and you can mount it like this, or you can mount it like this whatever is more comfortable for you it has a little bit of detent so it's not going to swing around with or without the knife the knife is well balanced so i do appreciate that now it's always a controversy point but i do have to point out that i'm not a big fan of serrations on knives i know that they're more useful than what we bitch about as consumers at the end of the day it's very unlikely that we're going to be in a helicopter that is falling out of the sky but if we have a choice between falling into the canopy or crash with the helicopter we're going to want to cut that harness or seat belt as fast as we can and the one thing that just takes any brain power away from the cutting action is having serrations i don't care what anybody says we can hate on serrations all we want but at the end of the day they do have their use they're great for emergencies and having a combination of both on your survival blade or your utility blade is some value that i just can't ignore as a knife reviewer and as an outdoor person i do appreciate the fact that they at least include both types if they're going to make only one version of a blade now if they made two versions of this blade and they wanted to make one plane and one fully serrated or one combo and one fully plane then that's fine but if they're only going to bring out one and they want to do combo i guess that's okay Back with the original wooden scale fixed blade knife and then the 2020 and the 2022 iterations we got solid plain fixed blade knives and then it wasn't until late 2022 that we had that one combo version that had both plain and serrated they probably felt that their sales weren't that impacted from offering the combo blade so they decided to do it again the knife does have that very good snap in that i recalled highlighting out of the 2020 blades and a very more pronounced thumb press over here for separating the knife out of the sheath gives you a little bit more accessibility without impacting too much of the wieldability 
Overall, I really like it. I mean, it's compact. It maintains that compactness that we loved about the 2020 series. Plastic handles are not wooden like the original 2018 model, but I mean, everything's plastic nowadays. Plastics are being used for a lot of applications and they're not terrible. They outlast wood in a lot of applications, especially for extreme outdoor scenarios where the knife is just rubbing on a lot of stuff. The wood tends to fray in those scenarios. Plastic just gets probably scratched, but it doesn't lose the material, which is something that I like. Cutting test with paper is as you would imagine, it's pretty decent. Sharpness has never been an issue with these knives. If anything, it's just holding the edge after some cutting. That would be the problem because these are very soft blades. Cardboard, no problem. Like I said, never had an issue with these as far as sharpness. I'd say that just the fact that this thing maintained its $5 price in 2023, as I mentioned earlier, is pretty crazy. And I would definitely recommend it just based on that. It's not going to hold up to your SEs or your Gerbers, obviously, in some very harsh environments. Those knives are built for that kind of action. But if you just got to go to Walmart and real quick grab something that's going to handle most of your normal tasks for that day, I would not put it past this little knife. All the Ozark Trail products that I have tested so far have been great. I still carry the 2020 model with me and it has been very good to me. So I would only expect great things from this one. Guys, I have tons more reviews coming out. I have at least five knives that I acquired in 2023 that I have to review, but I'll be getting to those as fast as I can. If there's any particular knives that you guys want me to review are either trending or popular, let me know. I'd be glad to check them out. I could even do some outdoor tests. The weather's getting a little bit better right now in Florida. If you enjoyed this video, you're definitely gonna like this one. I appreciate you guys watching. Take it easy, guys.